Okay, in this section of the video, we're going to be talking about how to access economic events. Obviously, there's a lot of demand for economic event information, you know, things like unemployment, uh, payroll, uh, car sales, things like that. Any bit of economic information that's available, how do you access that information quickly in an efficient manner? Well, there's a few ways that we can actually access that information in Zenith, and I'll be showing you the most popular um, economic monitor that's available. There are a few, but this is the most popular one. So the way we can access it is we can come up here to either the app section of uh, Metastock Zenith. And if you come in here and go to My Apps, it's, it's not in there by default, but if you go to Markets and you look for the Economic Events Monitor, you can just click on that, open it up from there. Or up in the search box, if you can just type economics and it'll find the economic events for you, click on it and it will open it from there as well. So this brings us to the economic events monitor page. Now, the way that it is first set up when you open it, it's actually defaulted to be a global view of all economics. And obviously that's a lot of information uh, to go through. So we can see over here all the different countries uh, that it's giving us information for, all the different classifications and reports uh, that it's for. So national accounts, surveys, uh, industry sector, what's going on. So there may be a lot of markets that we're not really interested in or you're not trading. So what we can do is come up here and say, um, let's uncheck all countries here. And then let's scroll down and let's say that I'm just interested in the G8. Okay, so now I have the G8 selected and it will automatically select those countries for me. Okay, you can narrow it down by just saying the countries that you are interested in. Uh, but let's go ahead and use that for now. And then all we have to do is click off of it and then that's saved. I can set my time periods for what I would like to see. So let's just say last uh, seven days in the next seven days. Economic event. So here you can actually choose which type of events that you want to see. So whether it be in the consumer, external, government, industry, labor, whatever sector uh, information or event economic wise you want to see, we can set that. Uh, time period, so you can say by economic classification, I recommend just leaving this one as the default. Choose update view, and what this will then do is just give us now those eight, that G8 uh, section that I chose, uh, the last seven and what's coming up the next seven days. So if I scroll down here, uh, here I have today's events. Here's what's going on. So we've got uh, national account, Germany publishes detailed breakdown of Q1 GDP. Uh, and then it shows the country. So we have DE, Italy, uh, Canada, US. So let's say for example here we have United States new home sales. Uh, this is related to an industry sector uh, because we're talking about home sales. So that's why it's labeled that way. Uh, our unit of measurement, actual, what the poll numbers were, what the surprise number is, and what the prior number was. Okay, so now as I'm looking at this information, I can do a few things. One, great, I have the information there in a tabular form, I can see it. If I want to see a chart of how that has progressed over time, I can click on this little chart icon and it will give me a chart of how, this, how the economics have performed over the last um, whatever period of time that I select. Here I have going back to 2004. Uh, we can squeeze that in. We can expand that out. So you can play with the chart in the different ways. Uh, and then if you wanted to change what you have actually selected here, you can change uh, which of the uh, different economic indicators you're looking at. You can do absolute value, percent change. So if we want to look at it in percent change instead, this might make it a little more clear that, you know, oh, it's down, it's up. So we can see that. We can also add indicators on this as well or compare different um, economic events. So if I wanted to add another economic event to it, I can select a different one and add it on there. Okay, so that's some of the things that we can do with the charting. Now on the, on the stories as well, I can actually click on the event name itself and it will actually take me to an aggregate overview of that uh, economic event as well. So I, let me just expand this out here. So we can actually see how it's done actual versus poll over time. Uh, we can look back, uh, right now we're defaulted to two years, we can go back five years, ten years, and see how it's performed over time versus the poll as well. So here's our actual recent events uh, that we've had on that, with that uh, new home sales. 
we can go in and look at uh, the min max and it'll give you a broad based overview okay now remember in some of the other videos we've talked about you could click off and kind of jump off into a lot of different spaces with this so if we wanted to just go to United States economic events from here we could but really we want to stay grounded in our events monitor that gives it this now if you're using a pro product like Outlook you can come over here and you can add it uh, into your uh, Outlook calendar or if you're um, if your program uses an ICS file or a calendar file, you can add it into your calendar so you'll get reminded of it as well. Okay, so that's a, a quick overview of how to access the economic monitor, how to do some of the different things with it. One last thing I'll show you with it is just how to switch to the calendar view. So you can see what time of day uh, they're coming up and you can break this out by month. So you can see Mondays, Tuesday, Wednesday. So these are our past days that were past Thursday, Friday. Uh, we can go in and look at uh, the, the week view as well and see it that way as well. So you have a lot of different ways to access the information uh, as part of this as well. I hope you found this video useful in accessing the economic monitor and finding the different economic events. Metastock Zenith has a wealth of economic data that is available to you. Um, but this is the most popular one again. Um, if you have questions on how to find other economic data that you don't see here, give us a call here at Metastock. Thank you.